This is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series in Fallout 76, where I attempt to take Scorched Earth with a specific legendary weapon. Today's weapon is going to be a Junkies Fixer with 25% faster fire and 25% less VATS AP cost per shot. A very powerful weapon, but obviously inferior to the bloodied version, which in comparison, this thing is doing 257 even with the Prime Receiver and is being out damaged by the bloodied one by a significant margin. So for a Queen fight where I'm usually wearing full unyielding armor to gain the bonuses as I have got them now, um, there is no reason to use a Junkies Fixer ever because you don't want to be at full health because of Adrenal Reaction and Nerd Rage, you're missing out on those things, so there you go, the, the Bloodied is superior, but there's a couple of things you've got going for for a Junkies, obviously it's kind of bugged right now, I noticed during the fight there's a little bit of moments where the damage would just kind of jump up slightly, a couple of times during the Spotlight video I did this, I noticed the same thing, so it's got that going for it, but forever how long that lasts, I'm not really sure how it'll go pending further updates, but I feel like this thing is a consistently better weapon because of just, it's, it's prefixed a lot better, plus um, I can use this thing at low health, get better damage, and not have to worry about the stat debuffs here, which are listed here, 5 addictions, alcohol, buff out, day tripper, mentat, and psycho. Probably not the best things to choose. Anything that incre decreases your luck and agility is probably not the best thing for a stealth commando. But those are the things you kind of have to take whilst you're using a uh, junkie's weapon to boost the damage through the, um, uh, I guess, addictions. Anyway, so we're going for a stealth commando approach to this. Obviously, got all of the commando perks. Tank killer to punch through a bit of armor. And for concentrated fire, we're going to be using that with Tormentor to cripple in, bring her down to ground, and crit spam her in the face to do a lot of damage. Got Sneak, uh, obviously, there's uh, COVID Operative of Mr. Sandman, going to be getting a 3.75 times multiplier because we did this fight during the night. Adrenaline is there just to boost your damage because there's a lot of adds to pick off during the fight, which is just good adrenaline fodder. Gunfu is there to make us, you know, switch between targets a lot and fats, but mainly Escape Artist and Sneak is going to be there to give us an extra four times multiplier. That's kind of it when it comes to this fixer. It's going to be a pretty easy fight. Granted, I'd die because of this uh, high capacity backpack, which reduces my errad resistance by uh, 60, which uh, Barbara has a lot of irradiation and killed me, but that's my fault. Anyways, we'll get started. All right, we're going to have a little bit of an extended warm-up round here because there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of things out here that I kind of want to get rid of so Barbara isn't distracted on anything else. Like that. Um, there was the usual couple of Scorch that show up here, but then um, obviously they aggroed the Scorch Beast Queen. How might a robot have a disease, Bethesda? They're, they wouldn't be carrying the pathogens because there'd be nothing for the robot to... for it to live off, right? Right? Is that right? I don't know. Anyways, these guys are all dead. We've got adrenaline for the next 60 seconds, which will be, you know, enough for when the nuke finally hits. So, probably don't want to sit too close. If I can find something to immediately target the arm, I think all of those ones have been pulled out, so won't find them there. But if we can find some unaggroed scorched around here as they get stuck in the trenches... Yeah, this is why you uh, fight Queen over by V9, because you don't want to get stuck in the trenches or fall down, especially when you're using explosive weapons. Something's landed over there, that's fine. There we go, left arm has been targeted. We'll go ahead and target the uh, arm, the, or the wing of the Scorch Beast Queen when it gets summoned, which hopefully I'm outside of the nuke zone. Yes, I am, only just. Begin Scorched Earth, please. Here it goes, clock starts now. Cripple this wing, please. And I've brought some rad away. Or oh, radax, sorry. Give me this cripple, please. My god, I've done that much damage already. Is that because junkies is weird? It might be. I don't quite know. Anyways, we'll keep on going. There's a couple of little turds around. She's going to piss, isn't she? That's very annoying. Fine, we'll kill our children instead. How's that make you feel, Barbara? Hey? Tormentor, please. There we go. That's got her. She's moved She's moved away. Ooh, radiation might be a problem here. Might be a problem. Where's she landing? Just take cover inside the trenches here, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Seems about right. 
You stay right there, Barbara. All right, up she goes again. We'll get this wing crippled again. Give me that 5% roll. I'm feeling lucky, Google. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Don't press that button. It's, it's weird. You get a very strange result some of the time. Not particularly lucky with these 5% rolls. Also, I'm noticing that my high capacity backpack makes her irradiate me all the time. So that's not good. Get nice and close, would ya? Stop doing your tracks somehow. Fireproof, doing good work here. There we go. There's her crippled. She's a looking like she's about to land. Uh, give me that headshot. Give me that headshot. Please don't kill me. I'll kill you instead. How's that sound? Okay, so luckily we're going to die here. No, luckily we haven't been infested with too many mobs. Okay, probably could have chucked it right away on my quick select. It is of no concern. Okay, back in and... Oi! Oh my god, I just had to empty the weapon. Stop regenerating right now. That's cheap. Unfortunately, um... My SSD is fast enough to, you know, spawn me there instantly, but Bethesda insists on me going through a goddamn loading screen for it. Yeah, I can take the hits now, Queen. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Barbara? Irradiate me even more. Let me, let me talk to you about a perk. It's called Nerd Rage. Okay, here are the ads. I haven't seen any lobsters yet, so that's pretty good. She better not go for a piss again. That's really annoying if she did. Delayed death sound from a scorched. That's fine. Are you serious? You seriously don't have anything better to do now than to fly around in the nuke zone? Most of this fight is RNG nonsense. Let's not forget that. Anyways, we've got our aggro again. It's I'm not struggling here. I could have had this done sooner if I actually planned out better, but you don't need to plan this, this fight out when you're using a weapon of this massive power, but whatever. Nothing will ever be as good as my bloodied fire rate assault rifle. I'm, they're aggroed on me now. What detected me? Not sure, probably Barbara herself. Good on ya. You're using those lack of eyes to an exceptional level that I can be proud of. But anyways, I'm just gonna bat you in the face. Yeah, there we go, that seemed to do the job. Anyways, got to clear out the rest of the turds like a bit of a flush. But there you have it. It's a queen tester, junkies fixer. There was a couple of time... There was a little bit of damage there that I feel like was... Odd. All of that nonsense just to close off the thing. I think the nuke would have done it. Maybe that's just a little bit of a delayed reaction. And here comes more of them. Who needs gun fu when you've got aim, right? Anyways, so... Yeah, it, it, it performed as expected, a little bit better as, than expected, actually, and I get an anti-armor assault on blade. I'd be more happy about that if it was <laughs> a swing speed. Well, I know that they're inferior to ski saws now, so that don't impress me much. Also, I had 24, 2445s before I did this fight, and now I'm down to 1800, so only a couple of hundred bullets, and then she's done, so... Fairly ammo efficient approach there. Obviously, a fixer is going to be ammo efficient anyway because of how high it can get its damage. How did they get up there? I'm not really sure. I'm going to snipe at them anyway. Can't believe I just nailed those shots. There we go. Yeah, pretty good. If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, well, you better hit up Murmur because that's the only way you do it. Also, make sure you know the plans of the actual fixer before you do that. Anyways, that's a bit from me. Thank you for watching, guys.